Luis Severino on the mound. He and the Mets are wearing their black jerseys tonight. Abrams, an all-star, batting 276 with 14 homers, 46 runs batted in. Abrams drives one to right center, tailing away from Bader, and he gets there to make the catch. That ball had a hook on it, and Bader had to really turn on the Jets to grab it for the first down of the night. Brings up James Wood in the number two spot of the order. Now another chance for Bader as James Wood lifts one to center field. Two batters, two fly balls to center, two outs. Man who loves to be the city field villain, the heel, Jesse Winker. Breaking ball away. Jesse Winker works a two out walk. And that will bring up the cleanup hitter, Kbert Ruiz. There goes Winker. It's set on the ground right at Iglesias. And that retires the side. So Severino works around a first inning walk. Mets come to bat with no score. Now it's the veteran lefty Patrick Corbin as he faces the Mets. Corbin one and eight on the year with a 5.49 earned run average. Francisco Lindor gets set to lead off for the Mets. Got him. Great way to start the night for Patrick Corbin. And that'll bring up Brandon Nimmo. You see the recent results have just been stunning. Eight homers and 26 RBIs in 22 games. And he drives this one out to right center field. Thomas takes a look and it's out of here. For the first time in his career, Brandon Nimmo has homered in three consecutive games. And he gives the Mets the early lead, one to nothing. Brandon Nimmo just keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. That is his 16th home run of the year, his 59th run batted in. Nine in his last 23 games. But boy, everything that's in the strike zone, he is tattooing. Got him. Another good slider. Two outs, both on Cates. Pete Alonzo. And he hits one hard, and it is knocked down by Vargas, and he has no play. And Pete's got an infield hit. A shot right at the feet of Ildemar Vargas, and he couldn't pick it clean. For the third baseman in right handed inning, Mark Vientos. High pop up on the right side. Pete Alonso went back to the bag for some reason. That's the third out. Last of the second inning here at City Field. That's one Nationals nothing. Francisco Alvarez, Jose Iglesias, and Tyron Taylor. A little looper behind first, and out goes Garcia, and he can't get it. And Alvarez is aboard. He takes a turn and holds on. Uh, Garcia ran as fast as he could because nobody else was going to get there, but he kind of overran it. A leadoff single for Alvarez, and that'll bring up Jose Iglesias. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Going to go to second for one. On to first, Iglesias beats it out. Here's Tyrone Taylor. Ground ball to third. Can they turn it this time? Vargas Garcia Yepes. Around the horn, and Patrick Corbin's out of the second. As we go to the third inning here at City Field in New York, the Mets one of the Nationals nothing. Here's C.J. Abrams. Love to get him on and see what he can do with two outs, and he'll get that chance here. Four-pitch walk from Severino. There goes Abrams, and the breaking ball in for a call third strike, so Severino takes care of Wood. His third strikeout ends the inning. Mets one, Nationals nothing. To the plate, Kbert Ruiz up to the cleanup spot. Soft line drive out to right. That'll fall in front of Taylor for the Nets' first hit of the ball game. Ball in the strike zone. Get yourself a knock. Line drive off the bat of lane through the left side. And there's two on for the Nets here in the fourth. So that'll leave it for Juan Yepes. He struck out on a Severino breaking ball his first time up. Lines this one down the right field line. That'll fall for a hit. In to score is K. Bert Ruiz. Lane Thomas goes first to third. The ball gets away from Alvarez. Lane will come home. And the Nats have a lead here in the fourth. Mistake by Severino, not backing up. And that allows Thomas to score the second run, and it's 2-1 to one Washington. This is inexcusable. All it takes is a little hustle by a pitcher. 100% of the time, when you give up a hit that could score a run or a plays at third, 100% of the time, you have to back up. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Nationals now lead the Mets 2-1, to one, and Mark Vientos Vientos drives one the other way, and he's got himself an extra base hit. Tracked down by Thomas, and Vientos will pull it at second base with a two-out double. So Vientos continues to rack up the hits against the lefties, and the Mets have the tying run in scoring position. Corbin needs to retire Jose Iglesias to maintain the lead. Iglesias punches one the other way for a base hit. Vientos to third. Thomas has a great arm, and so they'll hold Vientos, even though the ball ended up getting away from Ruiz. Corbin backed up, and that prevented the tying run from scoring. So Corbin does what Severino failed to do, and that keeps the Nats in front, at least for the moment. But you put your head down, you get in the proper position, 
And you're there just in case. Here's Taylor. Two outs. Got him. Oh, baby. Buries the slider to get a strikeout of Taylor. Great pitch. Works out of a jam in the fourth. We go to the sixth inning here at City Field. It's Washington 2, New York 1. Luis Garcia has grounded to 30, has struck out. Live ball to the other field corner. Long run for Nemo. He gets there on the warning track and makes the catch. That was not easy. I really think this is always the toughest play for a left fielder because when that ball gets in the corner, you think it's going to take you right to the line, but at the very end, it always usually comes back. And he hits him in the air to left field. Nimmo back a couple of strides to make the catch, and that retires the side. Patrick Corbin pitches in the bottom of the sixth inning with a two to one lead over the Mets. He'll face Martinez, Alonso, and Vientos. JD Martinez lines the first pitch in the left field for a base hit. Wood gets over to cut it off, and JD's aboard with a leadoff single. That's why the other way, a base hit. Martinez to second. He's going to take the turn. He's going to try for third. He's challenging Thomas for throw to third base, and he's safe. And down to second base goes Alonzo. And the Mets on the tying and go ahead runs in scoring position with nobody out. Here's Mark Vientos. And Vientos slams one out to right center. Back goes Thomas to the warning track. It's over his head. Martinez is in. Alonzo will have to be held at third. Vientos drives with the tying run with a long double, and it's two to two. But Dave Martinez let him go through the meat of this lineup and Corbin could not get anyone out. Now the bases are loaded with nobody out and Jose Iglesias coming up. Iglesias banks one up the middle on base hit. Alonzo is in. Here comes Vientos. The throw by Young to the plate is cut off. They've got the runner Alvarez between second and third. Iglesias advancing. Vargas makes the tag. Iglesias gets the second. Two run score and the Mets take a four to two lead. For Iglesias. A two run single as Alonzo and Viento score, and the Mets have gone in front by a score of four to two. And Bader grounds that one down to third. Vargas goes to second, gets it out there, then oh. throws it away. And here comes Iglesias to the plate. The throw is not in time. Five to two, New York. So Iglesias comes around to score after Taylor had been forced at second. And then the throw by Garcia will result in an error, allowing the Mets to score their fifth run of the game, and it's 5-2 to two New York. Luis Severino now will pitch with a lead. He works into the seventh, 5-2 Mets. Vargas takes Great ball bat. four. There you go. Lead-off man aboard here in the seventh. That's how you start it. And he does drop down a bunt. Alvarez pops out to get it. Makes an underhand throw and just in time. I don't know about the decision by Alvarez to throw that underhand, but at least he got it there to beat Young for the first down. The tall, lanky 37 year old left hander Jake Diekman is on a pitch. We figured we'd see Diekman for this part of the lineup. Abrams, Wood, and Winker all left handed. Has a good high fastball by Diekman to strike out Abrams. That's the second out of the inning. Another lefty here, James Wood against Jake Diekman. And a half swing, he went around strike three. So Diekman comes in and gets back to back strikeouts against the lefties. Now we go to the last of the eighth inning. Mets with a 5 to 2 lead over the Nationals. So two out and nobody on for Iglesias, who has two hits tonight, including the go ahead hit in the sixth inning. 1 2 coming. That's punched the other way, and that's a fair ball, and it gets by Yepes. Iglesias is going to try for two. Yepes having trouble picking it up, and Iglesias has himself a double. A little chunker that just stayed fair down the line. And it's the third hit of the night for the silver lined Jose Iglesias. <laughs> Line toward the gap in right center off the bat of Taylor. That'll go all the way back to the wall. That'll bring in Iglesias. Taylor turns second. He's going to try for another triple. The relay throw by Garcia, not in time. Second straight night, Tyrone Taylor's had a late inning triple. And it's 6 to 2, New York. Ninth inning here at. City Field in New York and Jose Buto remains on the pitch. Nationals need a late rally. Swing and a miss. He went upstairs to get the strike out of Yepes. So Buto has faced two batters and struck them both out. Two out, nobody on. Jacob Young, last chance for Washington. Ground ball. Nice grab by Iglesias to throw across the diamond, and the ball game is over. Jose Buto gets the final four outs for his first major league save. Luis Severino goes six and a third for the win. Iglesias with the big hit to put the Mets in front. And the Mets have taken two straight from the Nats to move back over 500, winning tonight six to two.